Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's show, we're going to prepare a dish, but we're not going to cook it. Tuna tartare. So everything is as it is right here. We just can combine it together. We're going to put that tartare on top of a nice avocado bed, top it with some radishes, and bam, we're going to serve it with some fresh French baguette. So I tell you what, if you want to join along, please do so you can learn how to prepare this in your own kitchen. And we're going to get started right now. So let's get started on our appetizer, our starter of tuna tartare. Now we've got a nice little batch of uh, uh, ingredients here. We've got about 10 ounces of uh, yellowfin tuna. It's the ahi tuna. We've got some chives here. We've got black sesame seeds. And right over here, we got two tablespoons of benny seeds. E you might, Benny seeds? Yes. Well, if you're from the Andy Ballon South, uh, especially here in the Charleston area of South Carolina, the low country, Benny seeds, for the most part, are sesame seeds, but they came to our shores from uh, Africa back in that antebellum times, and, and uh, they are now part of um, a lot of our local dishes. So there we are, Benny seeds, sesame seeds, either one. Um, Okay, so we're gonna serve our uh, tartare on top of an avocado bed, which obviously we've got an avocado, we got some lime, uh, some cucumbers, and a nice handful of coriander. Uh, you, you should probably know it as cilantro, but, we're, but first we're gonna get started by, if I can ever get it out, creating a sauce that we're going to add to our chopped tuna. And we're going to start it with uh, some ponzu, which is a citrus seasoned soy sauce. We've got some agave nectar, uh, more chives. We've got grated ginger. We've got some um, garlic. We've got coconut vinegar. Now, if you don't have coconut vinegar, use a rice wine vinegar, something like that. And then we've got a little bit of um, sesame oil which is uh that's all you need is a little bit of very very powerful oil so let us get started by let's see we'll go with our ponzu we're going to use about uh two tablespoons of our ponzu that looks pretty close to me <laughs> yeah you, you can never have too much of the ponzu it's, it's it's really really nice it really is real good uh now we're going to come in here with uh about a tablespoon of our agave nectar. If you don't have agave nectar, honey works just fine. Now we've got uh, about a tablespoon of chives, just like that. This right here is a tablespoon, uh, two tablespoons of, of um, uh, ginger. And I, I, I put it on the microplane and just uh, you know went to town on it. So it's nice and grated. Here's about a teaspoon, uh, actually not a teaspoon. It is one clove of, of our garlic, which I did the same thing. I uh, microplaned it down. If you've got a garlic press, that works just as well. Here we've got a teaspoon of our sesame oil, which again is, is powerful, so don't, don't think more is better when it comes to sesame oil. And then here is a tablespoon of our um, coconut vinegar. Now I'm going to come in with a fork, if I can find one. There it is. And we're just going to give this a nice little stir to combine all of those flavors together and get them to begin working together in the pond zoo. So here we are. I think that's just about, just about has that. Let's see. Oh yeah. And you can, you can really smell that, uh, that uh, sesame oil. So here, I'll put you right here. I'm going to put you right there and you're just going to sit there and do what you've got to do to let all your flavors come together. Now let's take a look at our tuna. So I tell you what, we're going to move some of this out of the way so we can get moving. Now these just a uh, couple little five ounce um, loins of our tuna. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop these up into little small uh, uh, bite size pieces. Now I'm going to come in and just give us a, a cut right here. And then we're going to come down and cut it in half. Just like that. Do the same thing with this one just like so move you out the way now i'm going to come in and just give it some nice little small cuts just like that so what's going to happen is when we rotate our 
uh, cutting board, we're going to have nice little small pieces of tuna like that. So here we go. Just make our cuts like so. There we are. Oops. Okay. Voila. Come back, do the same thing on this one. Nice dice, I guess you could say. That's what we're trying to come up with. These little small pieces of tuna. Oh, yeah, they're going to be so good. And it is good to have a very sharp knife. So we come in here just like that. Okay, there we go with filet number one. I'm going to come over and put that into one of our little metal bowls. Thank you, just like that. Okay, yes. Now we're on for filet number two. All right, now we've got our second piece of tuna uh, diced up. So we're going to add it to the first one. As we are, kind of give it a nice little mix together in there. As you can see, we've got some great little, little, little beautiful cubes of ahi tuna. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of our chopped chives, and then we're going to come in with our toasted black sesame seeds, and then we're going to round it out with two tablespoons of our bini seeds. Yes, now we're going to come in with a fork. And we're just going to give this a nice mix, just like so. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be so good. Okay. Now, oh yeah, look at that. That's looking great. Got some good color. Heck yeah. And one more thing I'm going to add to this is some lime zest. Where's my microplane? Here we go. So we're going to come in here, and we're just going to add a little bit of citrus flavor from the lime zest. Because I don't want to add any oil, uh, um, not oil, any any um, acid or or um, lime juice to this, because the the acid will begin to actually cook the the, the fish itself. So we don't want to do that, and it would kind of sort of turn a uh, an off uh, color, so kind of a grayish color. And we don't want that at all. Heck no. So here we go. All right, you stay right there. We'll use you in a second. Yes, we will. And I'm going to come in here. Now it's just going to add just a nice little hint of, of lime through there. Okay. So now we're going to let you sit just like that. Let's see. I'll put you right here. Okay. And then I'm going to move you out of the way. Okay. A little pieces of fish. There we are. Okay. Next, what, do, what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to clean up real quick. Put these up. And then it's going to be time for us to work on our avocado bed. Yes. Okay, clean up just a little bit. It's always good to clean up as you go. So we're going to bring our uh, little food processor right over here. Let's see here. I think we're all are we in there. Yes, we are. So let's take a look at our avocado. We're going to come in with our knife. I think we'll use, yeah, we'll use this one. And we're going to cut it right down. The middle just like that see there and we're going to rotate it around because there's a real big seed in the uh in the avocado and that's what i'm letting my knife rotate around okay just like that so now we're going to take this and we're going to slowly twist it and it pops right out so there we are we got a little bit of brown on this i think we'll still be fine so we're going to come in pop that seed and twist him right out of the way, just like that. <laughs> so, neat little trick. Okay, what do we have here? So we've got a little bit, let's see, give me a spoon. Yeah, you never know what you get, you know, in one of these avocados, because you can't really see inside. So, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna take that out. Well, you know what? Yep, just like that. We're gonna take this out. That was a nice sound, wasn't it? <laughs> and that out, so. Now we're going to come in and we're going to scoop this avocado right out, just like so. We're going to add it to our um, food processor, just like so. Got a little boat right there. I mean, we might be able to use that to put some, hey, put some of our tartar in there. So we're going to take, again, take just a little bit of that brown out. Okay, now we're going to come in and spin the spoon around just like so. Add this one. Yes. 
and that one. So there we go. Now I'm joking. We're not going to use these. <laughs> so, okay. So we've got, we've got one avocado. We're going to add, um, I'm going to say about a half a cup of uh, cucumbers that I kind of, I took, you know, I took uh, most of the skin off. I still you know, like to add a little bit in there. So here we go. We got some of this, just like that, put you here. Let's see, now we've got to add a little bit of salt. Like that, a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. Just like that, okay. Next, we're gonna come in, let's see, let's take care of our cilantro. Now we want a handful. Yeah, that's about a handful. I'll go with that. And we just wanna, what we want to do is we want to pull most of the leaves off. We want to keep, we don't want a lot of the, uh, the stems. You know, the stems can be a, a, little, a little tough. So we don't want those in our delicate uh, tartare. So we'll just come here and do this. All right, our last couple of coriander or cilantro leaves are off our stems. Put our stems up here. Bring this view over. Okay. Now we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna give these a nice rough cut, just like this. Rough chop, get them, get them to where we can kind of hold on to them a little better. Just like that. There we are. Just like this. Always keep your hands and fingers out of the way at the bottom of the knife. So here we go. Okay. Because we're not going to do a lot of pulsing here in the uh, in the food processor. We want a you know a little a little body uh, to it. Don't really want it to be too big of a spread. So I think this will work just fine right here. So we're going to come in, add that like so. Okay, here we go. There's one. Now come back here, out the way. Okay, clean up just a tad. Here we go. Now off. You know what? I almost forgot our lime. So we can come here, we're gonna rub, you know, kind of push that uh, lime down on a hard surface, back of your palm, and that's gonna loosen up um, a lot of that pulp. And, um, you know, it'll be a little easier to uh, juice. So I'm gonna come in here with a lime, like so. Just like that, okay. Yum. Yes. Smells awesome. So here we go. Come in here. We're going to give it a nice little chop. Like so. Backwards. There we are. That should do it just like that. Okay. Cool. Almost there. Almost ready to plate everything up. So, whoop, made a mess. How about that? Take this, move this out of the way, like so. Okay. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it in this little small bowl so it'll be a little easier for me to uh, grab it when we begin plating. Okay, just like that. Okay. Good, 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 good. So, all right. Next step. We're going to add a little bit more season, seasoning, our sauce, to our tuna. Let that sit for a minute or so, and then we will plate it up and ah, yum. That's all I can say. Come in here with a spoon, give this a nice little turn, just like so. And we're going to let this uh, sit. Whoop. Get back in there. We can let this sit for a couple of minutes so these flavors can get, uh, you know, can kind of sort of work with our tuna. All right, it's been uh, about a minute or two that I've let, you know, let this kind of sort of come together. Uh, all those flavors from the sauce and, uh, and that tuna are working well. So why don't we go ahead and get ourselves uh, plated up so we can <laughs> go ahead and eat. Now I've got a little small uh, ring right here. Uh, that's going to help me plate this up a little better than just throwing it on there. So, you come in with uh, probably a, a heaping tablespoon of our avocado. I'm going to come in here and just move this, you know, might be just a tad more. There we are. Now we're going to come in here and just kind of get this nice and spread, kind of as even as we possibly can on the bottom. 
Yes, just like that. And let's see if we can give it a quick little... Ah, not bad. That worked. Okay, so next we're going to come in with our, our tuna. Just like so. Top that on here, just like that. Oh yeah, so we got about two, maybe three, probably get four nice uh, tablespoons of our tuna, just like so. You know what, maybe just a tad more. Yep, right here, 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 and then let's see, a couple of more pieces. Voila, that's it, that's perfect. Yep, that is gonna do just fine now let's see here got a little bit of a mess not too bad we'll find out in a minute when we unveil the ring yes so we're going to come in just like this slowly voila check that out yes awesome man that looks great and we got a little spoon right here and i tell you what we're going to do we're going to come over We've got some fresh uh, French baguettes that were that I threw together the other day, and we're gonna thinly slice these. Or you could use, uh, you know, some favorite little crackers or wafers, or heck, you don't even have to use anything at all. If you don't want to, you can just eat it as is. So we're gonna come in just like that. I tell you what, it's nice to have one of these butcher block countertops. You can cut right on it if you want to. So there we are, we've got, oh yeah, how about that? Awesome. We've got our tuna tartare served on top of avocado and uh, cucumbers, a little uh, coriander uh, mixed in there too. But there, man, there it is. Let's see, I tell you what, what can we do here? Let's grab this little parsley leaf just for a little bit more garnish, just like that. How about that? Tuna tartare, quick, simple, easy. Uh, man, well, and, and the smells, oh, they get that sesame oil in there. Um, you know, we've got our ponzu and everything else moving in and out and through the little chunks of tuna. There it is. I hope y'all give this thing a shot. I tell you what, you know, here we've got another great recipe I'd love for y'all to check out. It is a grilled seasoned dolphin served with a tequila. Yep, tequila pineapple salsa. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I tell you what, until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.